Hey guys, thanks for checking out this uh, Easter doll box. I will have a couple variations of these. This one has Easter eggs. I have one with um, tulips as well. And then I also have one that um, the Easter bunny will be holding. Um, so you can use this tutorial for any of those variations. Um, it comes with this rasterized text, which means it's not editable. And the reason it's not is because you might not have this font and I can't just share the font with you. Um, so you can either turn it on or off and then you can also move it around if you want um the polka dots on the box you can also turn on and off this is the box that goes um the raster or not the rasterized the layer mask <laughs> that goes over so you will place your subjects right here the one that goes in the box if you're having other children in the in the picture that are excited or surprised that they're you know friend is trapped in the box you can place them behind it as well and if you can see here for these it kind of helps because they can go behind the the items in the scene which helps makes it look a little more realistic um for the one in the doll box you are just going to grab your image well this you can use this for any of them select your subject which i use the select subject tool in order to see that make sure you're on your select tool you can see that it selected the subject. I'm gonna to go to select and mask. I'm gonna refine it. My settings are generally feathered between one and two. And then I always have a new layer with layer masks as my output. And then I'm using this refine edge tool and I'm just going around the edges of the selection to help get rid of any little pieces of the background that weren't extracted. And then crown's not shown here and then okay from there you can refine your mask selection and then you can either apply the layer mask or you can just duplicate that into the doll box now if you duplicate it into the doll box and it didn't go where it says place subject here not a big deal if it ends up in front of it drag it down. It does not have to be on this layer for this to function. This is just a placeholder for you to know that it needs to be below this layer here, which is the mask, so that it works the way it's intended. So once you get your subject um, in, in the right position, I'm going to turn this one off so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, as you can see, the mask is just the front part of it. So it's really just to cover up the feet and then the edges of the box. You will need to make sure that your subject is, is inside that area because if not, let's say you left the hat here, it would show, right? So this is to make it help it look like it's part of, it's inside the box, your subject is. Now, there's uh, two things that I would do once you do this. Add a layer mask beneath it or not a layer mask, but a new layer. You're gonna grab your brush and make it soft. And then hit your Alt key and pick a color from the background. That That's gonna be your shadow color. And then change your blend mode to multiply. And I would bring the opacity down to like 40, maybe not even that much. Let's do 30. And then do a nice swipe where her body's closest to the box and then bring it down a little more and just add a little bit um, behind her. So you can see, and you see where it went outside the mask, look down here where my thing is. Make sure you don't do that. So just erase that part that came outside the box. And then the other thing I would do is add a layer, a layer above her and hit Alt while you're in between that layer and your subject so that it clips to her and again using your brush pick the color from the background and i would also put this in multiply mode and then just sw or swipe a little on her head because this right here would create that shadow on her head i wouldn't get it on her face and then you can make whatever adjustments you need for blending um into the the scene as well they will be different for yours depending on um your image and the way you shoot it as you can see here um there is a, even this was shot with the light right about here so you can see that 
the shadows go a little bit to the the left not as not quite as much as that I use this um, child from another um, image that I was doing but you can see the shadows are from above so you should look at making your shadows also fall in the same direction and also if you shoot you can see that you will shoot with the light just a little bit to the left of your subject so that you have um, a little bit of shadow that will that help blend with the um, that'll help blend with your box so that's it you can use this this tutorial for any of the variations of the box if you are an Etsy shopper and you see this I likely will not be listing this on Etsy I avoid listing PSDs on Etsy because of all the issues that people have with downloading from Dropbox links um, so if you want a direct download shop directly I'll leave the link below if you're not already part of my photo photography and editing education group where I do provide free tutorials um, join it I'll link it below and then of course if you don't follow my photography page you're missing out I've got a ton of cool themes I'm doing this year um, and I've already done one um, I already shared my first theme I think it was a couple weeks ago not even that and so um, I hope to see you there and until next time stay enchanted